Hello everyone, welcome back to another lesson from the Bible with me, Pastor Doug. Today, we're going to be talking about rest and a word the Bible uses called Sabbath. <laughs> Sabbath really means to rest. Let's check out our main point. Jesus gives me rest. Let's say that together. Jesus gives me rest. Great job. You know, when God created the world on the seventh day, he rested. And when Jesus traveled all around doing his ministry, he took time to rest with his disciples or just to be with God in quiet prayer. What about you? Do you take time to rest? What would it look like if you took time to be with your family and rest together? That's what we're going to be talking about this week. Parents, teachers, don't forget that you can go to faithfilled.com to download free resources for this lesson. But most of all, you already have the Holy Spirit there to help you. So pray and invite him to do just that. All right, everyone, here we go. Oh boy, oh boy, it's finally here! Sunny rays and lazy days, here I come! I just love summertime! L-O-V-E, love it! And everyone's gonna be so excited when I show them what I've done to the backyard! Uh-huh, we're gonna camp out, roast marshmallows, stay up late and tell stories until the stars come out! Oh, it's gonna be great! I got marshmallows, sticks, lantern, oh, matches! I don't have any matches! Hmm, where am I going to find those? Dr. Richter, he's definitely got matches. He's always lighting things on fire. Oh, it's going to be awesome. A-W-H, A-W-S, how do you spell awesome? Oh, hi, Doug. Uh, hey, question for you. How do you spell awesome? Uh, A-W-E-S-O-M-E. -E. Awesome. Oh, right, okay. Hi, are you sure it's not C-A-M-P-F-I-R-E? Uh, no, that spells campfire, Dusty. You're right, it spells campfire! I'm setting up a special backyard blowout in the backyard! Oh, I think I said that already. Well, anyway, everyone's invited. So, uh, you're gonna come, right? Um, yeah. Yeah, sure. Great. I just need to go get a few more things, and then, uh, we'll see you later, okay? Initiating sequence. The time. This is right chemical compound. Hi, Dr. Richter. Um, can I borrow your Bunsen burner? One. Ah! <coughs> oh, obviously, more chemical stabilizer is needed. I think I have the right ingredient over here. Yes, this should do nicely. Ah! Oh, dusty! <laughs> I didn't see you there. Have you been playing with the materializer again? Oh, no, Dr. Richter. Actually, I came to invite you to my special summertime backyard blowout extravaganza extraordinaire! And also to borrow your Bunsen burner. Or maybe just some matches. Uh, uh, yes, matches. I have some... Ah, uh, wait, no. Pastor Doug said no matches for you, Dusty. Not after last time. <laughs> oh, that's right. Well, if you come to my party, maybe you can bring some? Oh... Party! Uh, I'm not very good at parties, Dusty. Besides, uh, I have a very tight schedule here. 197. Initiating sequence. Oh, oh, okay, well, I'll just be going. Uh, see you at the party. Steady. Steady. <laughs> oh, why can't I get this to work? Amelia! Amelia! Oh, hi, Amelia. Oh, hi, Dusty. 
Um, hey, would you like to come to my special summertime backyard blowout extravaganza extraordinaire slash pizza party? I don't know, Dusty. I'm pretty busy. Besides, I'm lactose intolerant. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. Well, uh, I could prepare a veggie tray. Oh, not again. A fruit spread? The coolant's leaked into the carburetor. I'm going to have to do a complete teardown and rebuild. Oh, sounds like you could use a break to me. A break? Let me tell you something. Bees don't break. Bees are busy. I'm sorry, but I can't come to your special backyard what's a thing or pizza thingy. Oh. Oh, I see. Well, if you're too busy... Okay. Bye, Amelia. <gasps> Doug, why is everyone so busy? Hmm? What? Oh, uh, sorry, Dusty. It's just, I'm just putting the last touches on the Bible story here. I said, why is everyone so busy? I've been working really hard preparing a special surprise in the backyard. It's summertime. It's only here once a year. Why doesn't anyone want to enjoy it? Hold on, Dusty. Uh, almost done here, okay? See? This is just what I mean. Everyone is working so hard that no one is spending time together. Everyone's off doing their own thing with nobody but themselves, and we can't even enjoy each other's company anymore. Everyone's getting cranky and irritable. Even me! Ah, <sighs> there. Done. Oh, sorry, did you say something, Dusty? Ah! All I wanted to do was spend some time together to do something nice for everyone! Oh, I see. I I'm sorry, Dusty, but... That is kind of funny, actually. Oh, yeah. Real hilarious. No, what I mean is that that's, well, that's what our Bible story is about. Here, uh, why don't we take a minute to watch? Kids, let's take a look at our Bible story for today. All right, everyone. It's time to play 8-Bit Game Bit. Stand up on your feet to jump, duck, and hit your way to the finish in this virtual reality game. Here we go. get up and help me. Martha, Martha, Mary has made a wise choice and it won't be taken from her. Oh, <laughs> hi there. <laughs> it's time for our Bible story. You know, Jesus was a pretty busy person. He traveled all around and he preached the gospel to huge crowds. He would proclaim it in synagogues and streets, from hillsides and also even in boats. He healed the sick, gave sight to the blind. He even raised the dead. But in all of the things that Jesus was doing, he still took time to slow down, to stop, enjoy time with his friends, his disciples, and even get quiet time with God. You know, one time when Jesus was visiting his friends, Mary, Martha, and their brother Lazarus, Martha learned an important lesson about slowing down. You can find this story in the book of Luke, chapter 10, starting in verse 38. Jesus and his disciples were on their way to Jerusalem. But before they got there, they stopped in the town of Bethany, where their friends Mary, Martha, and Lazarus lived. Lazarus, Mary, Martha, it's so good to see Jesus you. Jesus is here. Oh, Jesus, it's so good to see you. You should have told us you were coming. I mean, you really, you really should have told us that, that you were coming. Jesus loved this family dearly, and so he wanted to stop and spend some time with them in their home. Ah, you have heard it said. Inside, Jesus was speaking, and everyone was listening. Well, almost everyone. I'm so glad you stopped. Martha, everything is fine. Come, sit with us. In a minute. Okay, let's see. Um, uh, is everyone comfortable? Oh, oh, we need another spot over there. Good. Oh, I almost forgot. The raisin cakes. Where did I put those? In the kitchen, of course. <gasps> Look at the dishes. I told Mary to do the dishes. Can't she see I'm handling everything else? 
Martha was busy and distracted, doing all sorts of chores that she felt were important. And it's true, she was serving others, she was being a considerate host. But on the other hand, her busyness and her worrying were distracting her from something more important. It was distracting her from Jesus. And it was making her bitter towards her sister Mary. Okay, let's see. Uh, cakes, check. Drinks, check. Pillows, check, check, check. Uh, the washing basin! How could I forget? Oh, I knew there must be something. Oh, the dishes are still here! That's it! I can't take it anymore! Lord, my sister has left me to do all the work by myself. Don't you care? Tell her to help me! Martha, Martha, you are worried and upset about many things, but only one thing is needed. Mary has chosen what is better, and it will not be taken away from her. Martha stopped for a moment to consider what Jesus had said. Hmm. You know, Jesus wasn't saying that it's bad to do chores, or that serving other people is wrong. In fact, Jesus often said how important it is to serve other people. What Jesus was trying to explain to Martha is that there's a time to be busy and there's a time to rest. We could all learn something from the story of Mary and Martha. I want to encourage you this week to try and slow down and spend some time with the people that you love. Let's say our main point one more time. Jesus gives me rest. Good job. All right, everyone. It's time to play Syllable Scramble. Correctly guess the order of the letters and sound out the word before the timer runs out. Ready? Go! If you said Sabbath, that's correct. God commanded his people to honor the Sabbath, saying no work should be done on that day. Thanks for playing Syllable Scramble. That's it. You're all a bunch of Marthas. What? I've prepared something really nice, a nice break for everyone, a party where we can all get together and enjoy each other's company. Just like that Bible story that we watched. Oh. But everyone's too busy to even care. Sometimes I wish I could just command everyone to stop, you know? Hmm. Oh, I know, I know. You're in the middle of something. I guess I'll just go enjoy the party myself. No, wait, Dusty, come back. Oh, well, you know... He is kind of right about something, though. Don't get me wrong. Being productive, working hard, all of that is good. But it's also good, really good, to know when to rest, when to stop and actually just sort of, well, take a break. Imagine this for a second. <laughs> Imagine that we never, ever wanted to go to bed. Like, never, ever, 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 ever wanted to go to bed. What would happen? we would get cranky and irritable. We would be mean to everyone. Not to mention, we would be so tired that we would probably fall asleep face first into our cereal bowl in the morning. <laughs> but not just that, imagine this. <laughs> imagine if when we were playing sports, we decided that we would never rest. We would never take a break to go you know, sit on the bench, catch our breath, have a drink of water. We just thought we'd keep playing and playing and playing. Eventually, our muscles would get so tired and so sore that we couldn't help ourselves. We'd fall flat on the ground. <laughs> and then the other team would take the ball and score really easily. But it's not just us and our physical bodies that need rest. The whole world that we live in needs rest. Did you know? <laughs> Farmers let their fields lie fallow. That means rest, so that nutrients have a chance to return to the soil. And of course, it's not just farmers. Did you know that musicians write rests into their music, especially when different instruments are playing together? So that it's not always just 
constant noise all the time without any breaks. <laughs> oh, yeah, that wouldn't be very nice. Rest is an important thing. In fact, it's so important that God demonstrated it to us and he did give it to us in a command. Remember the Ten Commandments. One of them was, observe the Sabbath day and keep it holy, just as God commanded you. Sabbath is the Hebrew word for, well, stop, rest. God commanded us to follow that rule. And not only that, what about when God created the whole earth? Do you remember what he did on the seventh day? That's right, he rested. He showed us that rest was important. And he wanted us to follow that rule as well. We were made in his image after all. Finally, Jesus also believed in rest and made sure that he was practicing it along with his followers, the disciples. Take a look at Mark 6.31. There, after a busy ministry season where the disciples had been sent out, Jesus says, come away with me to a quiet place. You need to get some rest. <laughs> You see, kids, God created us for rest. And just like we learned in our Bible story, we shouldn't be so busy that we become distracted from what's really important, from spending time with the ones we love and remembering what's of the greatest value in life. Well, there is one more thing that I wanna show you from the Bible, but that means we need to go get our Bibles, which of course leads us to the Go Get Your Bible Dance. Come on. Go get your Bible, go get your Bible. Okay, take it away, trusty. Thanks, Doug. Today's verse comes from Matthew chapter 11, verses 28 to 30. Let's look it up together. To find the book of Matthew, open your Bible to the table of contents. The first book of Matthew is really easy to find. It's the first book of the New Testament. Then, find the big number 11, that's chapter 11, and the little number 28. That's verse 28. It says, Come to me, all you who are tired and are carrying heavy loads. I will give you rest. Become my servants and learn from me. I am gentle and free of pride. You will find rest for your souls. Serving me is easy, and my load is light. Have you ever tried to carry something that was too heavy for you, only to have it fall on your toes? Ouch! Jesus promises not to give us a load too heavy to carry. He also shows us how to take a real rest, to lean on him as we learn to live like him.
<laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to What Did We Learn Today? That's right, the only game at the end of this lesson that asks, What Did We Learn Today? With me, your host, Game Show Doug. Now, let's see who our contestant is for today. Why, it's none other than our beloved scientist friend, Richter von Sch Sch Lichter. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Mom! I'm on TV again! <laughs> Wait, what did he call me? Oh, he messed up my name again! Why does everybody do that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well done, Dr. Prischnichter. Are you ready for today's question? I hope so, because here it comes! Which of the following is not a good way of honoring Sabbath as a family? A. Going to church. B. Having family game night. C. Doing lots of hard work and all of your house chores. Or D. Reading the Bible together. Let's see now, let me think, Sabbath. Ah, yes, Sabbath. Many experiments have been done to prove that good rest is a key component to intelligent thought. Yes, you see, when we sleep, our brain has a chance to organize our thinking so that we can be uh, more refreshed, more creative, and ultimately make better decisions when we awake. That is why Sabbath is important, proven scientifically. <laughs> Running out of time, Richter. Oh, ah, 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 C, C, the answer is C. <laughs> Judges, we have a winner! Ha <laughs> ha, congratulations. Yes, it's true, Sabbath means rest, so don't do chores, silly Billy. <laughs> All right, we'll catch you next time on What Did We Learn Today with your host, Game Show Doug. If you would like to participate in the What Did We Learn Today game show, head over to faithful.com and send us a message. Oh, nobody's coming. Everyone's too busy. Why don't I even do all this anyway? It's all for nothing. Dusty, there you are. Huh? Dusty, this looks great. You really nailed it. I need to apologize. Uh, you do? For what? You were right. I do need a break. Life isn't about working. It's about loving God and loving others. And sometimes... That means taking a break and spending time with those you love. Oh, uh, and roasting marshmallows? Definitely. You know, this kind of feels like when Doug would come and wrap things up. Do you think he's coming? He looks like he's taking a break. Why don't you wrap it up, Dusty? <gasps> I would love to! Uh, okay, kids. Um, let's see. Uh, don't forget that you should take a rest. Adults, you should take a rest, too. Don't get too busy with work. And kids, don't get too busy with, well, whatever you might get busy with. Jesus honored the Sabbath, and he took time to rest and be with the people he was closest to. We should do the same. Oh, let's pray to close. Dear God, thank you for this day. Help us to honor the Sabbath and take time to be with our loved ones and rest. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, boys and girls, see you next time.